home on this Memorial Day, a retired Marine is giving back to local veterans. Box 26's Ford Atkinson is live in Southeast Houston with more on this incredible effort. Yeah, Christine, all morning long we've been visiting a transitional home for vets who need some help. It's called A New Life. It's here in Southeast Houston. Just this weekend, this facility received some new furniture for the living room, some new bedding for the bedrooms, and some new flooring as well, courtesy of the Houston Rotary Club. Mattress Mac also kicked in quite a bit also. But right now, we're going to talk to one of the vets who is living here right now. His name is David Parker. He served in the military for six years from 1980 to 1986. And frankly, he needs some help kind of getting back on his feet. Uh, David, first of all, thanks for uh, joining us this morning. We really appreciate you talking with us. Why don't you, first of all, kind of give us your life story, how you ended up here at this tra transitional facility for veterans. Well, uh, you know, life was pretty much normal. I went to school, joined the military, got out, came home. Um, got into the electric trade, started working, and uh, started drinking pretty bad. Well, they eventually got me in trouble and I went to jail. When I went to jail, I lost everything. Uh, to start from absolutely zero and build yourself back up is darn near impossible. Without some sort of help, somebody to give you a hand, uh, it's real hard. It's real hard. And I run into a buddy that introduced me to uh, Mr. Lewis, the executive director here, and he interviewed me and we sat down and talked about it. And this is where I am. Samuel Lewis is a retired Marine who's, who runs this place and who is, I guess, the backbone behind it. You said, you told me earlier you lost your family, you lost some lots, but now you have a place to come and try to get your life back. What's it been like here? I think you've been here a few months now. How's it going? Uh, it's going pretty good. I've gotten uh, um, the opportunity to do a whole lot of computer classes. Uh, Mr. Lewis just got a hookup where he can help me from his house on the computer. So when I do get into a bind, uh, he just come up on Skype and, and help me work through it. But uh, he's given me a lot of classes. Of, uh, like I said, I couldn't even open an email when I first got here. Now I can set them up, do the folders, and, and do anything I need to do to, to get a job and to uh, sort of get into the mainstream of, of uh, technology now. So what do you think your future holds? What do, what do you look for in the way of a job and hopefully not the too distant future? Really, I just don't have a whole lot of expectations. I mean, I'm, I just don't push like I used to push. You know, there's a job out there. When it comes time, I'll get it. It'll be the right job. And I'll have the opportunity to stay here and get on my feet and uh, be settled, actually be solid before I move. Of course, we're celebrating Memorial Day today all across this country. What does this day mean for vets like you who survived their experience but still uh, owe a great deal to those who, who did not, all of us owe to those folks. What does this day mean to you? Well, uh, there are three days that I take off that I won't work, and that's Veterans Day, Memorial Day, and Fourth of July. Those are the only three days that I will not work. Uh, even in training, we lost we lost people. You know, you know we lost the Lieutenant Brett Meyer was our, battalion, our company XO in 1983. Uh, bad jump. Bad jump in, in California killed him. Uh, you know, we're, we're, it, you expect it. It's expected, you know, and you know it going in. All right, David Parker, thanks for joining us this morning. You're a resident here at A New Life, and we certainly hope that things turn around for you. I think you're off to a good start. Yeah, yeah, this is a good place to get started. All right, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Christine, that's the situation here right now. It's a, it's a great facility for vets who need some help. Back to you. All right, Ford, thank you. We certainly thank Mr. Parker and all of our other servicemen and women for their past service. Well, there are a number of other...